Hello and welcome back to my Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness playthrough. What? You're the real Justy impersonator. None of you are the real Slim Shady though. Uh-huh. I, I guessed. I guessed that that's where they'd be. And I'm guessing that the elevator won't activate until I battle you. Alright, let's get the shit over with. Oh, he's got a Kadabra. That could be bad. And a Sneasel. Not a bad combination, actually. Quite threatening. Let's try and get rid of one. Oh, no. Don't. Don't flinch. I'll deal with that as it comes. Uh. Don't. Oh, damn, that's a good attack. Ow. You're annoying. Huh. Oh, no. No, 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 Not Vulpix. Don't hit Vulpix. Okay. The only thing that could have gone wrong is if he attacked Vulpix or my attack missed. I remember Sneasel by the disgusting sound it makes in this game. <gasps> he has a mystery of us. I am jealous. You did well, Vulpix. Sleep now. How does the mystery of us know shockwave? Heh. <laughs> Saved by the 1 HP. Bop. Remember the truth of the Matrix. There is no spoon. Sorry, I'll shut up now. Oh, a Meowth, does it talk? Are you kidding? I don't particularly want a Meowth, but... You know what, let's deal with this first. I'm sorry, if your Mistrievous were a Shadow Pokemon, I would catch it. For some reason, Shadow Rush doesn't have recoil in this game. It did in the last one. That was, like, the only annoying thing about Shadow Rush. Was that your Pokemon got hit with recoil. Not good for when you got low health. Damn it, why can't I steal Pokemon that aren't Shadow Pokemon? If I kill it, meh. Not particularly fast. Whoops. Oh, okay. I may as well try and catch it. I 
I should have opted to uh, take it out if I didn't catch it, but whatever. Yay! Yeah, eventful. You did. You totally blew that one. You you did. Oh no! You're a knob. Serious? Uh, I've got to find the stupid key before I can rescue the hostages. This sucks balls. So I need to figure out which one of these justies is the leader until I get the elevator key. I could cheat and look up which justy has the elevator key. But, well, I've not had to cheat so far in this game, I think I'll, uh, I think I'll just do it the honest way. Right. Let's find that elevator key. Have you got it? No. My first guess would be that it's the justy outside the gym. There's a justy there. So justy up. You know, I just kind of thought you were a regular old man. I, I wouldn't have guessed that, you know, you were a cypher peon, just like everyone in this town. Oh yay. Torkoal has a clear weakness. This battle might be easier than I thought. Right, Ember and Water Gun. Whoosh, yay. Complete with sound effects. Oh no. Does torment mean I have to keep using this? Oh, torment means you can only use attack moves. That's such a useless thing. Oh yeah, that's really gonna affect me. Torment is such a retarded... Oh, it can't use the same move twice. Right. Okay, I get you. I thought Torment was the one where you can only use attack moves, but obviously that's Taunt. It's just me being a fuel. Why is Swino? It's a ground type, isn't it? I don't want a Swino. Torkoal is down. Water gun will be more effective than the ember. Oh. Nope, scratch that. I kick ass. Yay. I mean, don't be so rough. You were the one who started the fight with me. 
if you start a fight with someone, you kind of have to expect them to be rough. There was no one in the Colosseum and no one in the gym. And Justy had buggered off because someone had kidnapped him. Note to self, don't do Mumford and Sons parodies. Uh-huh. Wait, hang on. Who the hell would trust one of these idiots with an elevator key? This is what I wish to know. Maybe none of them have the key. And why did I not talk to the one outside the gym? Okay, here's an interesting question for you. Like you, the uh, people watching. If you could choose between being able to breathe fire and being able to breathe ice, what, which one would you choose? I'm not really sure which one I'd choose. Being able to breathe fire would be cool, although very dangerous. But being able to breathe ice could also be very useful. You'd have to be like, if you could breathe fire, you'd have to be really careful about as to where you breathed it. But if you could breathe ice, you could cool drinks down. You know, you if you had enough breath, you could, um, you know, like freeze water over and make it skatable. You could uh, freeze someone's hand to a metal object. That'd be nasty. Yeah, I guess it depends on the level of fire and ice breath. If it, if it was just like your normal breath, like <sighs> then probably ice would be the more use. Well, no, actually. A fire would probably be more useful in that instance. But if it were like a massive, you know, hurricane kind of thing, you'd probably be better off with ice because um, fire would just be a lot more dangerous and ice would be a lot more useful. Yeah, yeah, it depends on the level of uh, breathing, I guess. How much air you can expel. I don't know how fire and ice breath would work, actually. Fire breath you could sort of get away with if you had some sort of fuel, because you don't use all the oxygen in the air anyway. But then, ice breath is just something else. I don't know how you'd uh, go... I don't know how the logistics of that would work. Anyway, this is uh, turning into quite the uh, uninteresting battle. But hey, it's over now. That's good. I'm guessing you didn't have the key. Yeah, that's that's nice. I see. Did he drop a key? No. I don't care about battle CDs, I just want... You there, you better have the key. They like snooty kinds of cool guys. Hmm. <laughs> That's quite funny. And for the record, women don't like snooty guys. This is why I am single. Uh, yeah, that's why I'm single. There are a lot of reasons why I'm single. Um, why do they all have five Pokemon? Oh well, pick them off one by one.
Please have the elevator key. I really cannot be bothered to go through five Pokemon apiece. This video is already 15 minutes long, and I thought I'd be finished in this part of the story by now. <sighs> oh, tentacle, yay. Don't care. In fact, why not kill two birds with one stone and use heat wave? I kind of guessed that. Wait, ice isn't very effective against water. I always thought it kind of was a rock, paper, scissors thing. Fire is effective against ice. Ice is effective against water. Water is effective against fire. Evidently not. Oh yeah, that did a lot. Oh no! Not a poison fatty. I can't smoke that. Um... Focus all your efforts on Grimer. Ah, oh, man. Hope that doesn't poison me as well. It depends, because like, you can get a Quillfish, and that's like a Blowfish Pokemon. And that poison is as effective as, you know, a Ball of Sludge's poison, whereas if this were the real world, you'd die of the Blowfish poison very quickly. Like, you wouldn't just faint, you would die. I've not really got anything that's effective against Tentacle. Yeah, Zubat always seems to go down in one hit. Oh, Gulpin! Yay, the Pokemon that everyone likes. Oh, for God, no! I didn't want one of those in the last game, although I don't think you could have caught one. I certainly don't want one in this game. It's a freaking stomach. It's ugly. It's pathetic. It's just... why? Who came up with this Pokémon? It's a stupid idea. Right. Heatwave. Before Gulpin gets to do anything, take it out. So surely they wouldn't trust any of these morons with a key. tempted to cheat and figure out which one is just by asking online. If he's not got the key, then I'll just end the video here because it's, again, it's already overrun. I'm trying to keep these short, but it's just not happening. Oh, mama, I've lost. Yeah, that's good. Please be the key. Oh, for God's sake! Right, on that note, I will end this video. See you next time. And for the love of God, can we please get further with the story next time? Until then!